Ready to uncover some dark truths? Here are the 10 best mystery games to play on PC in 2019. There's something about the unknown that, as human beings, fascinates us. Who's responsible for a murder? What secrets is a town hiding? Where does he buy his shirts? And the best video games drip feed us these mysteries as well as any novel, movie or TV show. So in this video, I've assembled a list of prime suspects in the library of the Logitech G Manor like the end of an Agatha Christie story. But before we get to the big reveal, please remember to subscribe to Logitech G and hit that notification bell to always stay up to date. Are you ready to find out what the best mystery games to play in 2019 are? Well, I'll tell you later. Ha! <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Here are the games. OK, go ahead. We'll kick things off with a title that looks like anything but a traditional mystery. There are no trench coats here, no hidden messages scrawled on the inside of matchboxes. Instead, Outer Wilds is an open-world mystery game set during the dying moments of a solar system. On the surface, it's a first-person exploration game. You fly to a new planet, explore the quirky phenomena contained therein, and then die because you're trapped in an endless time loop in which the sun goes supernova every 20 minutes. Think of it like Russian Doll meets No Man's Sky. But it's the intertwining mysteries and the promise of a definitive conclusion that will keep you engaged as you connect the dots from apparently unrelated sources and form a recognisable picture. It's also a fantastic place to explore when it's not being blown to atoms, full of quirky design choices and worlds which shift and change over time. Outer Wilds is a game rich with enticing questions and all the answers lie on the most dangerous reaches of the galaxy. Do you remember when the internet used to come on a disc? Do you remember when it used to take 38 years to download an 80 megabyte file? If you answered yes to those questions, the fascinating, unusual Hypnospace Outlaw has an MSN Messenger nudge with your name on it. And if you answered no, ask your parents and ask them what a nudge is at the same time. This 90s internet simulator has you scouring the web for things like bullying and copyright infringement, building each case from snippets of half-glimpsed information. And that's fun enough as a detective game, but it's the digital set dressing which really sets the game apart. It's a nostalgic wilderness of threatening pop-ups, suspicious downloads and obnoxious screensavers. And it'll make you miss the olden days of the internet as much as it'll make you glad that we live in an era of fibre optic broadband and YouTube videos on demand. So don't forget to like and subscribe, yeah? When you think of HP Lovecraft, the first thing that springs to mind is, quite often, Cthulhu. But the first thing that should spring to mind, as difficult as it is to conceive, is the murky, formless suggestion of Cthulhu. It's not about proof that these things exist, but the fear that they might. And the thing that The Sinking City gets right, and the reason it's on this list, is the gradual, hard-boiled detective work which provides the foundation for Lovecraft's best tales. As private detective Charles Reed, you squelch through the fabulously damp city of Oakmont, piecing together clues as you uncover a dark truth. It's similar to the system that works so well in Sherlock Holmes' Crimes and Punishments, inviting you to piece together clues about what's really going on. The combat is wobbly, the fishy faces are really upsetting, and it's an oblique experience if you don't love HPL. But for anyone in the market for an unspeakable mystery, The Sinking City is the blasphemous abomination for you. Sounds serious. Loads of immersive games give you plenty of choice when it comes to conflict. But usually, your options are confined to sneak in and take enemies out stealthily or kill absolutely everyone. But few titles let you apply this breadth of choice to an investigative environment. The Occupation, a thriller set in northwest England in 1987, lets you do exactly that. You play a journalist digging into an explosion at a controversial government body responsible for curtailing civil liberties. It's a strictly timed experience in which you have a set period to gather clues, interview people and dig around in places you probably shouldn't. It's buggy in places, but the aspirations here are lofty. You're as likely to uncover secrets sifting through people's trash as you are printing off hidden emails to use as evidence. There are so many immersive ways to spill the game's various secrets that the occupation feels like Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy via Arcane's Prey. It's taut, stressful and refreshingly challenging. I have a feeling there's a bigger story here. For a list about mystery games, this video has been rather short on hard-boiled, gumshoe detective stories, but the simple, smart and utterly brilliant backbone is here to rectify that. The only twist, as you've probably noticed because you're massively observant, is that your troubled detective is, well, well, he's a trash panda. 
As raccoon private eye Howard Lotor, you have to uncover clues, compile evidence, and interrogate witnesses. You have to use stealth, exploration, and branching dialogue to traverse a murky pixel art version of Vancouver. And what a version it is, a gorgeous, handcrafted world that combines high-res pixel art with 3D effects such as dynamic lighting, pouring rain, and volumetric fog, all set beneath the blush of sickly neon lights. And best of all, you can play the wonderful prologue for free on Steam right now. We'll pop the link in the description so you can save all your investigative powers for the game itself. It'd be remiss of me not to start this section with a recommendation that you get yourself some incredible headphones. See the link? Good. And the reason you'll need them is because our next entry, Unheard, is an acoustic detective game. You step into the past and investigate crime scenes purely from what you can hear, listening to what was said and where. Then you use these voices to track down each person involved and solve the mystery. You're never fed the information, you have to find it all for yourself. And that means that when you do solve a case, and when you start to unravel the threads that tie the overarching story together, you'll have the same sense of deep satisfaction you get from a game like Her Story. It's an elegant system that's executed perfectly, and an experience that might change how you listen to games forever. Especially, you know, if you buy some new headphones. I have just one last question for you. Who are you? Whispers of a Machine is a sci-fi Nordic noir, which is a game genre I didn't know I needed until I said it just now. In it, you play Agent Vera England, a cybernetically augmented investigator out to solve what begins as a standard murder plot but soon spirals off into some dark, interesting places. But those aforementioned augments set the game apart. You have to scan areas for forensic evidence and monitor interviewee reactions to determine when they're being untruthful. There's even a characterful alignment system that allows you to craft Vera into the sort of detective you want her to be. This makes for a deft, enticing, thoroughly modern adventure game. Throw in some excellent voice acting directed by Dave Gilbert, creator of 2018's best adventure game Unavowed, and you have a cerebral, atmospheric experience underpinned by some subtle and effective systems. All right, I think you're good to go then. What if you don't have the time or mental acuity to solve a mystery on your own? What if you'd like a chipper sidekick to help you unravel a game's secrets? Then TikTok, A Tale for Two, is perfect for you and potentially that chipper sidekick I just mentioned. And in fact, you can't actually play it unless you find someone else to join in. This co-op mystery is a stylish, atmospheric experience based on Scandinavian fairy tales, but the implementation is utterly modern. You can play on various devices, and best of all, you don't need an active internet connection for it to work. Each player has different information on screen, so all you need to do is be able to talk. It's a test of your ability to explain and adapt, and a marvellously unusual way to solve increasingly taxing puzzles, untangling hidden truths of the game as you do so. Just don't tell Louise that I call them my psychic. Draugen is a Fjord Noir, see my response in Entry 7 from the developers of the Dreamfall series. And that genre should give you a clue as to this sedate yet captivating mystery's primary appeal, the gorgeous, stirring surroundings. You explore this unique setting as Edward Charles Harden, an American traveller out to find his missing sister who stumbles across a deeper mystery in Grovik, a deserted 1920s Norwegian mining town. You're accompanied in this endeavour by Lissy, Edward's young ward, who's simultaneously the best and worst thing about Draugen. She's complex and engaging, but her period dialogue and relentless chirpiness can feel so heavy-handed as to be jarring. But if you can stand being called Old Bean, Old Fruit and Teddy Bear every 15 seconds, there's an interesting mystery here with some thoughtful, if predictable, twists. And if you have the patience for it, the pace and setting make Draugen a slow, dreamlike escape if you've had your fill of twitchy, breakneck action games. Stop playing games. Are you ordering me, Teddy Bear? Oberdin is the oldest game on this list, but I'm including it here because A, this is my list, and B, it's basically perfect. We've talked about it before in our best puzzle games video, but the depth and execution of the story warrant its inclusion here too. The goal here is to work out how everyone on the Obra Dinn, the ship referred to in the title, died. To do this, you have a set of limited but deeply interactive tools, things like old photos, a ship's manifest, and somewhat crucially, the ability to manipulate time to witness past events. It makes the return of Oberdin a wonderful, challenging experience, and discovering the truth is a mix of measured assumption, meticulous fact-finding, and thoughtful cross-referencing. 
like all the best mystery games, it'll keep you guessing right until the very end, and it's proof that games can do the unknown as well, if not better, than any other medium. So there you go, our suspects are being led away to the gallows, leaving us free to sit back and bask in our investigative prowess. Mm. Let us know what your favourite mystery games are in the comments below, and bludgeon that like button with the candlestick if you enjoyed this video.